individualism or collectivism? Do you define yourself as an I or a we? In considering cultural dimensions or attributes, individualism, the I, is a preference for independence and self-reliance. As an individual, you are expected to take care of yourself and your immediate family, but you have no obligations to a larger community. Cultures which focus on individualism celebrate the accomplishments of a person rather than a group. For example, does your employer single out an employee of the month? Employees from that background, the I background, might more naturally seek to advance their own interests within the job rather than that of the entire organization. Australia, the US, the UK are all individualist cultures emphasizing the obligations of the individual, the individual's human rights, the individual's personal responsibilities. Are you familiar with the saying, the squeaky wheel gets the grease? This comes from cultures focusing on that individual. By contrast, other cultures on the other end of the spectrum, such as China or Pakistan or Venezuela or Ghana, the group is of paramount importance. This is collectivism. An individual is expected to be loyal to that group and not advance his or her own personal interests at the expense of the group. To operate outside the interests of the group is considered downright shameful, both to the individual and that group, whether family or work-based. In fact, in Japan, a collectivist culture, unlike the squeaky wheel, the nail that sticks up will be hammered down. In a workplace favoring collectivism, relationships at work are considered to be family-like. The employer offers protection in exchange for loyalty. An employee with poor skills would not be dismissed, but probably move to another position. On the other end of the spectrum, employers and employees favoring individualism see the work relationship strictly as business. An employer reasonably may terminate an employee for poor performance, and a successful employee will frankly consider accepting a better pay offer from a competitor. These contrasting values can seriously impair communication and expectations at work. So which are you? Are you an I or are you a we? And what's your employer?